insectivorous nutrition insect eating plants are called insectivorous plant pitcher plant utricularia venus flytrap drosera sundew bladderwort are examples of insectivorous plant these plants are green in color they can prepare their own food but for preparing proteins they cannot get nitrogen from the surroundings the insects on which they feed fulfill their nitrogen requirement these plants trap insects by various means for example pitcher plant in a pitcher plant the leaf lamina is modified to form a pitcher like structure the apex of the leaf is modified into a lid which can open and close the mouth of the pitcher inside the pitcher there are hair which are directed downwards these hairs do not allow any insect to climb up when an insect lands on the pitcher the lid closes and the trapped insect gets entangled in the hair the insect is digested by the digestive juices secreted in the pitcher symbiotic nutrition in this mode of nutrition two different organisms live together and are mutually benefited they help each other for feeding protection and reproduction for example lichen Lichen is composed by algae and fungus. Lichen are the are most amazing form of life. A lichen is actually composed of two distinct organism algae and fungi which live and work together. Algae contain chlorophyll and make their own food fungus leaves on a rootless alga the fungus absorb water from the soil and supplies to the algae in return the alga makes food and supplies food to the fungus isn't it a unique example of friendship between two organism in nature the association in which two different types of organisms live and work together for their mutual benefits is called symbiosis lichen show symbiotic relationship or symbiosis Similarly rhizobium bacteria lives in the nodules of the roots of leguminous plants like pea and gram and provide them nitrogen in a soluble form in return the plants provide food and shelter to the rhizobium bacteria so both organism benefit each other replenishment of nutrient in the soil you have learnt that all plants absorb nutrients from the soil so the amount of nutrients in the soil keeps on decreasing nitrogen phosphorus potassium magnesium and calcium 
are some plant nutrients. These nutrients need to be added to enrich the soil. Manures and fertilizers are rich in such nutrients. So, by adding manures and fertilizers, we can fulfill the nutrient requirements of the plant. Most plants require nitrogen to make protein. Nitrogen is available plenty in the air, but plants cannot use it directly. The bacteria such as rhizobium cannot prepare their own food. So, they live in the roots of gram, moong and other leguminous plants. They use the atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into plant usable form that is nitrate. Thus, they have symbiotic relationship. This relationship has a great significance for the farmers. So, farmers do not need to add nitrogenous fertilizer to the soil in which leguminous plants are grown. Farmers grow leguminous crop in the alteration with other crop plants to maintain the fertility of the soil.